Welcome to Trailwise. I'm Nina Barlow. Uh, today I want to talk about Ellie. So Ellie is my good old faithful red power wagon 2017 and this is a special day because she is about to retire and I have a new red power wagon taking her place. But first I want to do a walk around and show you some of the things I've added to her over the years and uh, some of the scars that I've added to her over the years and the stories that go with those. I, I've put 81,650 miles on this truck. It is the best truck that I've ever owned. Um, and it's out of those 81,650 miles, 45,000 miles of those towing. The other miles um, are not just easy cruising miles. They're usually off road. Uh, so I've put a few things on her to buffer her against my off-road driving style and I'll show you some of that but of course the very first thing that I did was um you know it's all about where the rubber meets the road right so I had to put on my Falcon Wild Peak All Terrains the AT3Ws these have been a great tire they're a nice uh heavy duty tire for uh you know whether I'm towing or off-road um they're a great performing tire for her um obviously on my favorite method racing wheels and then um, to give me full room to move, that big 35 inch tire, um, I've got the Daystar leveling kit up here. And this, this is the original spacer. Uh, these, these are the original wheels and leveling kit that she's had on her the whole 80 plus thousand miles. The next thing I did was put a heavy duty bumper on the front because my driving style is, um, I like to feel the rocks as I go down the trail. Uh, so not only did I need a heavier duty bumper, but I also wanted something that offered a little bit more utility for my winch. Uh, this puts the winch out here. The power wagon, of course, comes with the winch, but this puts it out here where I can more easily manage the drum and stuff when I'm doing uh, winching. Um, obviously, get some off-road lights here. Our teary lights are our favorite, and uh, this really they really light up the, the trail when I'm out there. Hopefully, uh, not out there too late. You can see uh, quite a few scars on the underside of this bumper, but of course, 80,000 Nina miles on there. And uh, I, I actually will even use this bumper to push rocks into place sometimes when I, uh, I'm, I'm lazy doing trail work and we need to move a boulder. I'll just push it. <laughs> of course, back in 2017, um, the, the factory winch that came on the power wagon um, had a steel cable. So... Not only did I change it out to a Super Winch Tiger Shark, which is just a little tractor, actually a big tractor, of course, in this case, 15,500 pound winch, but also it allowed me to switch some synthetic line on there, um, which gets a lot of heavy use. This winch, the Tiger Shark, is not the fastest winch out there. On my Jeeps, I like to use a faster winch like the Talon, but the... Um, the Tiger Shark is just low and slow. It just motor, motors along and it's great for the trail maintenance stuff that we do. Uh, so one of the things I learned by trial and error was that I did really need rock sliders on this. So not all of these body panels are the original, <laughs> um, but uh, after a few trips to the body shop, I, did, I opted for the, these are maple off-road rock sliders and these are the real deal. Now, I think they weigh, if I recall correctly, uh, about 400 pounds. Billy will be happy to tell you about how much they weighed when he installed them for me. Um, but these are super heavy duty, um, really could practically lift the truck up by them. They have been repainted a number of times because of all the rock scrapes. One of my favorite things about these is this little pop out here that gives me a nice little step. I can get into the bed and stuff. I didn't realize how much I would use that. Uh, so a few scar stories. So like this one right here. This is just a scratch kind of in the in the black part here. Doesn't look like much, but this was, uh, I was on a recovery at the cinders and um, got, up, uh, got, got up about halfway on the hill and it was, uh, I was sliding down and I slid uh, over a dead snag tree. And the, this dead snag was probably 20 inches in diameter. Um, and the slider uh, just, it just uh, turned it into splinters. And this is all the scarring that I got um, from that little episode. People that were down at the bottom of the hill uh, watching that um, thought for sure, like, like I creamed the whole side of my truck. <laughs> but no, thanks to Maple Off-Road Sliders, just a little, just a little scratch. 
Now this scar over here, this is actually much more embarrassing. This is from a shopping cart at Safeway. And it's, you know, the problem is there's no trail cred with that. This is the first time I've told this story in public, you know, cause usually I'll make up something different every time someone asks. I didn't add the snorkel until around, I think it was about 55,000 miles on the odometer. So the snorkel is a more of a later addition. And the reason for that was because we get a lot of dirt, a lot of dust out here in the desert. And she was kind of breathing in that dust. So I opted to put this on here to um, kind of be a, a pre, a, an air cleaner, um, help her breathe some, you know, cooler, cleaner air. So a lot of people, of course, they see that snorkel and say, oh, you must do some really deep water driving. No, I do, I do a lot of deep dirt driving, <laughs> deep dust driving. Um, so that's what the snorkel is for. Plus it makes her sound cool. Plus I got like an extra half a mile of a gallon, but anyways. One of the things that we did early on was um, change out the exhaust. So from the factory, the power wagons um, and all the gas, you know, heavy duty 2500s have a resonator back here behind the rear axle. And I was worried about the clearance. And so um, we found uh, the diesel exhaust uh, off of a 2500 is the same behind the muffler, except it eliminates that resonator. So we just, just put that on there. Um, but uh, you can see I've modified the tailpipe here also. This is the Barlow Special Modification, also known as uh, Moab Rock Crawling. <laughs> see this fender and they see that like I'm missing just a little bit of that black decal that, that kind of that stripe coming across here um, and there's a story with that too you see this is not the original fender so this fender had a little run-in with the high lift jack let's just say I was uh, planning to uh, I was trying to find the lowest tire pressure possible in the sand dunes and I found it and I was I deep beat a tire putting a tire back on the bead and I ended up putting the high lift jack into this fender. They did a beautiful job at Carstar repainting my fender. Um, however, my little replacement decal wasn't quite up to factory snuff and that kind of, that fell off after a couple of years. But that's just a reminder to uh, not to uh, put a high lift jack into my fender again. <laughs> All right, let's drop the tailgate and show you the bed. <laughs> Got a lot of scars on the, on the, the edge here. This is the factory bed liner and it's been bomb proof with all the rocks and the tools and everything bouncing around back here all the time. You can see I just threw some stuff in here loose this afternoon on our way up. Um, but uh, this has seen a lot of action. One of the things I really like here are these uh, max tie downs E channels. These have been worth their weight in gold for being able to adjust these very easily and move you know wherever I need a tie down point. So. Um, we'll definitely be looking at installing something like that on the new truck as well. We have uh, uh, the 4x rack to hold the high lift jack. You can see I've gone to a ratchet mount here at the moment because years of bouncing around on the trails have actually ripped the, uh, the sheet metal here on the side of the bed. <laughs> so um, I have been a little hard on her sheet metal over the years. This is a, something we just haven't gotten around to fixing yet. So of course we have our stickers and stories to go with them, but Rebel Rally. So even though this truck has never been um, competed in the Rebel Rally, um, obviously I've spent a lot of time training in this truck. Uh, and of course this is, uh, oops, cracking, see, warranty. Uh, this is from uh, Nick Guyver, Nick Simarusti's uh, Black Sheep <laughs> Garage, which you can't even read anymore. Um, Team Four Corners was uh, one of our team names uh, one year in the Rebel Rally. Uh, this truck's been to Glamis several times a year, every year. Um, the Mojave Trail uh, out in Southern California. Needles Outpost um, in Moab, outside of Moab, Utah. Got my AV sticker. And then this is from my buddy Dave Hellman, Extreme 4x4 in Moab, Utah. <laughs> Slapped that up there when we were out on a photo shoot together recently. So lots of good memories with this truck. I'm going to miss her. Uh, it, it pulls on the heartstrings a little bit. Like I said, uh, um, this has been my, my traveling office for over six years. Uh, I can't tell you how many of my Jeeps I've towed with her. Um, 
and not to mention just the, the four wheeling stories, you know, that, that she's earned on her own too. So I'm glad to see she's going to a good home. You're still going to see her around Moab, Utah with her new owner. I'll let that be a surprise later and um, look forward to stories with the new power wagon we're picking up later this afternoon. So happy trails, old girl. Thanks for watching today. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new stuff. And of course, if you like our videos, share with your friends too. You can follow us on Instagram at Barlow underscore adventures and you can learn all about all of our trips and training on barlows.us. Until next time, be safe out there, be trail wise and happy trails.